As is well known, volleyballs make way better friends than soccer balls, who will stab you in the back the first chance they get. America's largest shark finning enterprise, Mama Maybell Bryant, has collected quite a fleet of recreational boats. Her fail sons, Randall and Tyson, can often be spotted piloting them around Sapphire Bay. Shark's propensity to clear the ocean of its assorted detritus is one of their most valuable things.
Random mutations aren't random. They require large amounts of mutagens as a catalyst. Sharks have a habit of gobbling up anything that finds its way into the water. another reckless campaign of extermination. This is a mere pause in the eternal struggle between man and nature. Shark bounties became commonplace here after the previous mayor's practice of hiring Fijian shark charmers proved largely ineffective. attention spans are short. They've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so thus ends the bounty.
A steady diet of coral and algae gives parrotfish a flavor akin to shellfish. The appetite of this shark is nearly insatiable. Evolutionary anomaly, the hammerhead. Shark triumphs, overcoming her opponent's clearly superior depth perception. As twilight falls, Pete is in an uncharacteristically quiet mood. It's a dangerous job. It's not something unknown to me. Well, you want to see dangerous? Look at that, yeah? That's PT-522. My daddy crewed that off of Guadalcanal. It was Navy. Gunner's mate. Pacific Theater. But when I was 16 men, came back a day later with three. Man survives all that. Has to die here in the Gulf. What happened to him? Boy, you don't like me saying this. But my daddy, his granddaddy, was killed by a mega shark. I, I, I'm sorry. He's talking about a prehistoric fish that went extinct 2.6 million years ago. I seen it. Now, you were a kid. Ain't they discovering new animals all the time? Sort of. Well, not, not exactly. In lots of cases, they're just corrections of species with different names. Also stuff like misspelling. But, I just say, maybe there are things in the water that ain't in your textbook. Stick around. Maybe you learn a thing or two this summer. Whatever. The ocean is vast. The majority of it still remains unmapped and unexplored by mankind. Perhaps Kyle shouldn't be so quick to dismiss his father's fevered ramblings.